Hey everyone, so in this video I will explain how to install the 1964 custom emulator that runs both GoldenEye and Perfect Dark at 60 frames per second. It also includes a mouse injector which allows you to play the game with your keyboard and mouse like modern games. So let's get started. The link for this webpage will be found in my description. All you have to do in this webpage is click zip that you see in the corner. You will get a box, you can either select to open the file or save the file, in this case we are going to save it. Now you find your folder where you saved the file and then you see it says 1964 and you can either right click it to extract it with any application that you already have such as WinRAR or 7-zip and if you don't have any of those all you gotta do is double click the file and once you're inside you right click the folder 1964, you copy it, you go back and then you just paste it and it only takes a couple of seconds to be finished. Alright, so that's finished. You double click the folder and you will have all the contents inside. You double click 1964 and you will be greeted with a little window asking you to select your ROM folder. Your ROM folder is the one that contains all your games, so make sure you give it the right location and once you find it, you press OK. For this tutorial, we're going to be using GoldenEye, so double click it to get it started. As soon as you see the Nintendo logo, use the left mouse click to skip it and skip all the other intro cutscenes. That means the emulator is registering your clicks. Anything you click with your mouse, either left click or right click, will be registered by the emulator, but you cannot move the cursor. So how do we enable the cursor? All you gotta do is press number 4 on your keyboard. Not 4 on the number pad, but the number row, which is at the top of your keyboard. Once you press that, the game will actually detect your mouse and you will be able to control it much more easily than if it was a controller. Once you're in the game, you use the left click to shoot and the right click to aim. Remember that at any time, you can just press 4 on your keyboard to set your mouse free so you can adjust your window or anything you need to do and then you press 4 again and you're back inside. It is actually much easier to aim with the mouse, although this game was designed to be played with a Nintendo 64 controller. My emulator screen is really small so I can't see. Either way, the controls are pretty smooth and the 60 frames also make it really nice to play this game all over again. For those who like to fiddle with the settings, all you gotta do is go in plugins, input settings, and you can change everything there, every key on the keyboard, and you can change the number you use to activate the mouse lock or the mouse detection. It's all there, so let's say we want to make it number 1, we put 1, we press OK, if we press 4 now, nothing happens, but if we press number 1, it's going to be in. So it's all up to you, although the default settings seem to work pretty fine already. The only thing most people would change, I guess, would be the sensitivity of the mouse. Well, that wraps it up for this tutorial, so thanks for watching this video, please make sure to subscribe so you get more content. And also like this video if I helped you. By the way, this video was made due to some people asking me for this tutorial. So if you have any suggestions, tell me in the comment section. Have a good one. Peace.